the 10. It's been a record month for Pikes Peak so far. Yep, that's right. How our recent winter weather has really impacted even America's mountains. We've got quiet weather to start the work week and really don't see anything until the end of the work week on Friday, and that's going to be minimal at best. We've got to look at your full forecast here in just a couple of minutes. We all love buying candy for those we care about on Valentine's Day. But this year, you can spread that love to those in need through the Care and Share Food Bank Spread the Love Peanut Butter and Jelly Drive, February 5th through the 16th. Peanut butter is one of the most cost-efficient sources of protein our local kids, families, and seniors need. So join KRDO and pick up a couple jars of peanut butter and jelly to donate at Care and Share distribution centers or drop-off locations. Or go to KRDO.com for how to donate monetarily. After a crash, the insurance company does not have your back. They offered our client zero dollars. We knew our client deserved more, a lot more. McDivitt went to trial and got over one million dollars for our client. McDivitt. Hi, Dr. McBride here, the men's MD. When cancer treatments are performed for bladder cancer or colon or rectal cancer, the nerves that transmit the signals from the pelvis to the spinal cord and brain can be disrupted. And that nerve disruption can lead to the symptoms of erectile dysfunction. These patients are very thankful to have their cancer treated, but the symptoms of erectile dysfunction persist. And just like any other man with ED, these men can be depressed and have a significant reduction in their quality of life and lose their relationships like anyone else. There is a great option that can restore their erectile function with a penile implant. If you want to learn more about ED treatment or ED treatment options, feel free to call my office to set up an appointment or to learn more online, visit edcure.org or themensmd.com. The Men's MD is a proud sponsor of Healthy Colorado. For more information, please go to krdo.com. Get McDivitt and get a law firm that always keeps you in the loop. Great experience from beginning to end. Very informative and helpful with great communication and always quick to answer any questions or concerns I had. I would recommend them to anyone needing help. McDivitt. Well, check this out, guys. Pikes Peak recorded its first avalanche in nearly two decades, according to their Facebook post from last Wednesday. It happened last Wednesday. It began above Cove Creek, they say, made its way down the highway at George's Corner. They say it traveled 2,500 feet, accumulated 12 feet of snow along its path. Thankfully, no one was hurt or caught in the avalanche. The last time Pikes Peak confirmed an avalanche, though, was back in 2007. Yeah, I mean, my goodness. I mean, we're talking, what, 17 years. The Colorado Avalanche Information Center lists the danger there, uh, the level on Pikes Peak as moderate. Chris Larson joins us now taking a look at our weather. And Chris, the good news here, this just kind of goes to show you how much precipitation we've had and, you know, we could use it. Yeah, well, it was a pretty big cornice that they showed there in that one shot as well. Uh, and we have seen quite a bit of precipitation here the last couple of weeks. Now we're going to enter a fairly quiet weather period through about Thursday. Uh, we'll see another little wave of energy, perhaps a few snow showers into the work week coming up on Friday. But beautiful out there this morning. See this area of low pressure, that's the spin, and then you've got the feed of moisture into the east coast of the United States. Showers and thunderstorms this morning from Florida all the way up into the Carolinas. We've got not more than a couple of snow showers kind of rolling out of Cheyenne and into the I-25 corridor to our north. So a cold start to the day, but a mild afternoon. Seasonable temperatures. Afternoon highs are going to be right there at our 30-year averages. We keep it mild tomorrow with that zonal westerly flow. And then you have little kind of fluctuations in the flow as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. Little passing systems by to our north, but no big outbreaks of cold air and no big moisture makers to bring us any heavy snow fall here. Now as we go through the day today, we'll see mostly sunny skies, I-25 and areas out to the east. You can see that we've got winds which are going to be kind of variable, but generally out of the south to the southeast. As we go overnight and into Tuesday morning, clear and cold. Morning starts will once again that dip down into the teens and 20s. And just a beautiful sunrise shot here from our Steve's paint supply camera. 21 degrees right now. Winds are out of the north at about 7 miles an hour. You've got teens and 20s out across the plains. Cold in Gunnison, 3 below. 13 in Leadville and 19 degrees at this 
hour in the Pueblo area. So mid and upper 40s out across the plains today, about 46 Colorado Springs, 31 Leadville, and 30 in Gunnison as we head into the afternoon. Overall, some pretty mild temperatures here over the next 24 to 48 hours. Again, you're going to want the jacket first thing out the door in the morning, but we'll warm up nicely tomorrow afternoon. Upper 40s, low 50s for Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Some low 50s out across the Arkansas River Valley. We'll hold in the mid 40s, Salida, and about 40 degrees in Alamosa tomorrow afternoon. All right, your seven day forecast for Colorado Springs 40s today, upper 40s, low 50s through Thursday. Again, a small chance for some showers as we go towards Friday into the weekend. 40s and 50s return. Pueblo, 48 today, mid 50s by Wednesday. Small chance for a shower again coming up on Friday. No big deal. 44 and 55 into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Monument, Palmer Lake could see a few snow showers coming up at the end of the work week on Friday. It looks like we're pretty quiet through the weekend. But for the next couple of days, we'll see sunny to partly cloudy skies and we'll climb into the low, mid and upper 40s through Thursday afternoon. Canyon City, 49 today, low and mid 50s through Thursday. Again, a small chance for a shower coming up on Friday. Woodland Park in Teller County, you're going to be mild in the low and mid 40s through Thursday afternoon. A little cooler on Friday with a chance for a few snow showers as we go into the end of the work week. And right now looking at the weekend, not more than a 20 to 30 percent chance for any precipitation. And our temperatures are gradually milder in the low 40s coming up on Saturday, the mid 40s on Sunday. 651 and we're keeping an eye here.